Hi, welcome to the video solution for Edexcel Physics. This is uh, Edexcel IAL Physics Unit 2, January 2019, Part 1. So let's uh, start. Question number 1. Uh, the unit of charge is the Coulomb. Which of the following is equivalent to the Coulomb? Now, if you see, they are talking about the charge of the Coulomb in terms of other unit. And you know that as per definition of current, I is equal to Q by T. And Q is the charge which is measured in Coulomb. Uh, so if you rearrange for Q, so Q is equal to I into T. And from here, you can see that this is Coulomb in terms of unit and this is ampere and second. So ampere second is alternative unit of charge, which is uh, Coulomb. In fact, uh, ampere second is SI base unit of charge. So option is A. Question number two, uh, in the combination shown below, each resistor has a resistance of 6 ohm. Which of the following is the total resistance between X and Y? So you need to find the overall resistance in the circuit. And you know that uh, these two resistors are in parallel with the series with this third one. So first you need to figure out the uh, equivalent resistance or net resistance of these two. And these are in parallel and both have same magnitude, 6 and 6. If you do 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2, that means 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6 and then 2 by 6. Sorry, it's a 6, 2 by 6. So this is 2 by 6 is 1 upon R. So you, ha you will have to flip it and that means R is equal to 6 by Two, which is equal to 3. So 3 ohm is equivalent resistance of these two and you can imagine a resistors of 3 ohm in place of these two connected in series with the third one. So this is 6. 6 and 3 is 9. So your option is C. So 9 ohm. Or uh, rem remember if you have a, a two equal resistance, equal resistor R and R in parallel. That means the equivalent resistance of these two will be R by 2. So if this is 6 and 6, so you don't need to do or you don't need to spend all these working. This is 6 and this is 6, so their equivalent resistance should be half of the 6, which is 3. And you can save your time here. Question number 3, X, Y and Z are three perpendicular directions, a polarized light waves is traveling in the z direction which of the following describe the direction of the oscillation of polarized light remember oscillation of the polarized light must contain the same plane as the direction of of of, of motion so if the uh, light is polarized so they must be in the x direction oscillation or they must be in a plane which is perpendicular to x direction. So they are saying whether the oscillation in that direction, option A, so of course not. They must be uh, in the plane which is perpendicular to the x direction. This is the same thing that I am saying here. They must be in the z direction. It is all about oscillation. So they must be in plane which is perpendicular to, which is perpendicular to the z direction. That means if Light is traveling in that direction, so oscillation should be something like this, perpendicular to the z direction. So option is B. Question number four, the circuit shows uh, a cell of EMF uh, epsilon or E with internal resistance R connected to a resistor of resistance R. The current in circuit is I, okay, a typical circuit. Which of the following is an expression for the terminal potential difference V across the cell? Uh, remember, for these kinds of circuit, or if internal resistance and EMF is involved, we have equation relating E and V is E equal to V plus IR. 
This is the equation that we use to solve the problem regarding internal resistance and EMF. And uh, where V is the potential difference across the resistor R, external resistance. So this V is here. G, the, that's the concept, V. But this V is as same as potential difference across the power supply, V. Because you know that out of E, which is EMF, some power, oh sorry, sorry, some voltage is lost inside the battery. So around VR, internally, we have lost volt, VR. And this lost volt, VR, is in fact IR. This is the lost volt. And this is the V, which is left after losing the voltage. So this V is left voltage or voltage around. Uh, around the cell or around the external resistance. So that means you need to find expression for V and expression for V from this equation V is equal to E minus I R that means option is D. Question number 5 the equation I equal to N Q V A is quoted in the listed of the data formula and relationships when the uh, temperature of metallic conductor increases, which of the following quantities decreases? Okay, N is the charge density. That means number of electron per unit volume. And uh, there is no effect of temperature on the charge density. So the N stays same. So it cannot be your option. Q is the amount of charge flowing. It cannot be changed. Area A is the area of the conductor. Temperature does not change the area. The only thing is because of the temperature, resistance changes. So resistance either increase or decrease. That means uh, the velocity is going to either decrease or increase. So your option is C. Question number six, uh, a beam of electron is directed towards a thin sheet of uh, crystalline material as shown. Uh, typical experiment regarding electron diffraction, electron beam, fluorescent screen. This is a metallic sheet or, 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 or any crystalline structure. The following pattern is produced in the fluorescent uh, screen by the electron, electron diffraction pattern. Which of the following is conclusion from this pattern? Uh, electron behaves as a particle. No, light behaves as a wave, which is indeed, but in this, not in this experiment. The atom in the crystalline material are arranged in circle. So uh, students might confuse looking at the circle diagram. They think that because this circle is because of the circular arrangement. No, it is not because the material or the metal sheet contain a crystalline structure or a structure with an with some ordered so the crystalline material is an ordered structure made of crystalline or you know lattice kind of lattice from which electrons are diffracted and produce this pattern so your option is b question number 7 which graph shows uh, how current varies with the potential difference for an ohmic conductor a constant at constant temperature. So ohmic conductor, ohmic conductor, constant temperature. That means uh, uh, Ohm's law V is proportional to I. That means you must have a graph of a straight line for ohmic conductor at constant temperature. So your option is A. Question number eight, the photograph shows waves in a ripple tank passing through a gap in the barrier. Which of the following properties of wave is being demonstrated as the wave pass through the gap? So it is a typical diagram, wave is passing through a gap and after passing through it is being diffracted. So this is phenomenon of diffraction. Question number nine, Light travels through air and enters a glass block. Which of the following quantities does not change as the light enters the glass block? So it is refraction. Okay, so during refraction, remember uh, wavelength and uh, velocity changes, but frequency stays same. Okay, so frequency during refraction, only frequency is the quantity that stays same. And rest of the quantity changes when medium changes. So wavelength changes, velocity changes, and amplitude also changes. So option is B, frequency which is uh, not changing during refraction. 
can four different types of lamp produce the same brightness the power consumption and the current are marked on the packaging for each lamp and shown in the table so filament fluorescent halogen and led which type of lamp has greatest efficiency if of course if you compare only the name filament fluorescent halogen and led so led has a high sufficiency uh, but if you want to see the the mathematical aspect so efficiency is uh, uh, output upon input so because brightness is same that means output is same so efficiency only depends on input and input is in denominator so if denominator is small so overall efficiency is high and if you see in this case input is basically power power input and if you see the the largest uh, number is 16 the smallest number is 6 which is the smallest power input power of led is 6 so led has highest efficiency so your option is d Question number 11, a teacher demonstrates the photoelectric effect. He shines light from an ultraviolet lamp onto a metal surface. Calculate maximum kinetic energy in joule of the photoelectrons emitted from the metal surface. Frequency of ultraviolet radiation 4.2 10 to the power 15 hertz. Work function of metal is 4.1 electron volt. You need to find maximum kinetic energy. You are given frequency of the photon and the work function. So according to Einstein, or photoelectric effect equation is uh, energy of incident photon should be equal to work function plus kinetic energy gained by the emitted electron. And you can rearrange this equation for kinetic energy. So Ek is equal to e minus phi naught and this e is energy of photon which is hf so you can say hf uh, minus phi naught so you just substitute the value of frequency planck's constant and the work function and you can have a kinetic energy but remember uh, the work function value is given in electron volt so you will have to convert electron volt into joule so first you will find phi naught as 4.1 electron volt but multiply by 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 it will give you the energy or the work function in joule once you have phi naught you can substitute phi naught here and frequency uh, 4.2 10 to the power 15 and planck's constant from your data set planck's constant is 6.63 10 to the power minus 34 joule second this is the value for planck's constant and f is the frequency 4.2 minus phi naught which you are going to find from here once you solve this so your kinetic energy ek would be equal to 2.13 into 10 to the power minus 18 joule The teacher replaces the UV lamp with more powerful source which emits UV radiation of the same frequency. Explain why this result in a more photoelectron being emitted per second. So they are increasing power. So increasing powerful source means if powerful source is increased, power of the source is increased, that means intensity is increased. So powerful source means intensity is increased and increasing intensity means number of photons are increased so photons emitted from the source or coming from the source are increased so more photons are coming from the source that means photoelectric effect is one one interaction one one interaction between photon and electrons that means the photons are increased so number of electron uh, should be increased thank you very much for this video i hope you enjoyed it 
uh, see you in the next part. Have a nice time.